So you <laughs> seem very positive and upbeat. How are yeah. you feeling? Uh, I'd be lying if I told you that I wasn't disappointed tonight, you know. Um, I think CeeLo made a, a, made a poor decision. Mm -hmm. um, that being said, he has a, a very talented team of individuals. And, uh, and the time that I got to spend with him already has been a real, real blessing for me. Um, that being said, you know, I go home tonight, but I get to go home to a brand new baby. So it's, it's hard to feel, you know, that utter disappointment. And it's actually been a way to really sort of balance this process for me of, of having uh, the responsibility of, of getting ready to be a, a new father before six days ago when I actually became a father and, and, and the process of the voice, you know, it's been able uh, to really sort of not isolate and, and, you know, white knuckle each situation, but really take on board whatever comes. Do you think that if you had gone with a different judge, if you'd been on a different judge team, there might be a different outcome? I don't. I, I really think that uh, CeeLo was my guy from the beginning. Um, him and I have a very similar scope of what music should be and what sort of vehicle music can do to people. Um, you know, things that are larger than life and epic and, and moving and, and sort of out of the box is, is how, is, that's the music that moves me. And so without a shadow of it, I, I know that I was on the right team, even in light of tonight's decision. What will you do now? Uh, I'm in the middle of actually a record. Um, right before the live round started, I'm about five songs into the project already. So between that and, and adjusting to being, uh, you know, having the role of, of father on me now, uh, it's going to be, you know, jammed with both of those things for, for a while. Will you write songs about being a new dad? I don't know yet. I haven't thought about it uh, because the I mean she's only six days old so I really you know I don't know if any new father because this is my first child has any real capacity to understand what that's like to to feel uh, I mean you hear all these things and what a miracle it is but until I think you experience it um, you you can't really put those things into words yet I'd be surprised if it didn't move me at least to, to some aspect sure now, there was a moment in the show where we all were watching back here in the press room and there was a huge gasp and we all couldn't believe what we heard when Christina seemed a little rude when she said, Tony, is that your name? Like, kind of seemed a little rude and it seemed to yeah. bother you, did it? Absolutely. I mean, if, if you don't know the last 24 people that are a part of this machine after, you know, it whittled down to... Really, I think there was 126 in the blind auditions that went through. But, uh, yeah, it was, you know, for the last 48 hours, she's been uh, pretty negative towards a lot of the contestants. You know, the fact that she sort of questioned my name was, was kind of off-putting. What yeah. else was happening that we, couldn't, we didn't see? Oh, just some comments that she made uh, in yesterday's mm -hmm. uh, show was, I think, outright rude and, and kind of uncalled for. And... Um, not not just not constructive, but just seemed a little out of place. And um, and I'm I'm told that sort of her true colors sort of came out last night. And I don't know her well enough to say if that's true or not. But uh, I think uh, I don't know if something's going on with her personally. But I think she brought it into the theater tonight, and uh, she probably should have left it at the door. Will you hold a grudge? I don't have time to hold grudges, you know. Um, I have a new family to deal with, so this is, I have way too many joyful things in my life to, to really give that comment a second thought. Uh, well, congratulations. Thank you very Best much. Best of luck to you. Thank you. Thanks.